Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we had a fun fight tonight uh, on a card that was an absolute snoozer uh, in part in, in the caption, but we got to the main the Super Bowl Matias becomes the eighth Puerto Rican to capture the 140 pound world title. Uh, we did that at the Armory in Minneapolis, beautiful little venue. Uh, but let's get into uh, before we do, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing blog and all forms of social media. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right. Um, so that's near and dear to heart. Let's get let's get into today's fight. Um, the 140 pound division is is getting interesting. Um, Super Al Matias. I've been a fan of this guy for years now. I still can't get his name right. Super Matias. Yeah. Um, I missed the blonde hair, but this was um, you know it, it was a performance in, in which he did exactly what he was supposed to. Um, you know, he, he had that loss back in 2020. Um, I think it was Wilder, uh, Wilder Fury undercard. Um, it was three years ago now. And he got, uh, he lost a, a tight decision to Petrus uh, Anion, and who he came back and destroyed in a rematch. Good wins prior. Uh, uh, good win, you know. Went over eight and Prescott's a little brother too. So he that he had tragic win over Maxim Dedeshoff. Um, but this is a real guy. This is you know he he was battle tested. He earned his way up. Um, he he's a fun fighter, and no matter what you think of him, you know. No matter what you think his reign might be, he, he's he's fun, he's entertaining, he's never in a boring fight. Um, you know, I honestly think that there's two tiers to this division. Regis Progre and everybody else. Um, yeah, uh, he, 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 he might become a unified champ because I, I, I think they're going to match him with P Polo next. And, and he, he beat Alberto Pio. Um, I, I like Pio. He trained with Bob Santos. He, he looked really good in beating Akhmadov, although I don't think he won that fight. I, you know, I thought Akhmadov was going to blow this guy away. Um, only seen uh, um, that was Leighton. It was the uh, David Morrell call when he blew out Alante's box. Um, Uh, and 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 he beat a guy, Bashan Owens. He did not. I I don't think looks impressive in doing so. So I did not think he's going to be Akhmadov, and he did. Um. So you know, Pelo Pelo is is a is decent guy. You know, not not much pop. Um, decent boxer. I I do think Matias would would break him down and stop him. Um. So I I think this is a pretty good chance Matias is going to become a unified, champion. but. The rest of the division isn't really that good, right? Like, we, we go through the division. Taylor isn't what we thought he was, and he's leaving the division. His fight with Tiafimo Lopez, I am certain, is going to be his last fight, right? Uh, Ramirez doesn't want to fight anyone, apparently. He wants to fight Richard Comey. Uh, Jack Catterall, you know. So then, then we start moving down to the prospect guy. So we got Gary Antoine Russell. We got... Omar Juarez, we got Brandon Lee. Uh, we're gonna have guys like that. I, I don't know Ryan Garcia in that division. Uh, we got the Jack Hiroka, and then we have a couple. I, I don't love Montana Love. 
Uh, so I'm not going to get into Montana Love. Um, then we get we, we have the British guys. Uh, we have Dalton Smith. Um, you know, um, I don't know who else do you guys like. There's a. Uh, what is the um, man? I'm losing my brain. The uh, Irish fighters name. Um, the Irish 140 pounder. Man, my brain is slipping. Pierce O'Leary, who I like a lot. Pierce O'Leary is now 11 0. I like Pierce O'Leary a lot. Um, so, you know, once you kind of come off of those top names, yeah, and I think the top name is Richard Progre, uh, then you go to the champions. You know, after you fall off that, you know, I, I really think that you start getting to these younger guys. And, you know, I, I do think Gary Antoine Russell. Juarez, uh, Brandon Lee, Dalton Smith, and Pierce O'Leary in the in the near future all beat Subaru and Matias. Um, you know, Juarez would have a challenge because he can't crack. Um, but I, I think he's so fast; he can move. Just don't stand in front of him. Give him angles. Don't approach him. You know, don't 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 you know don't entice him. Move. Use your angles. Juarez can do that. Break him down to the body. Um, but that'd be an interesting fight. Um, but uh, allegedly, maybe the rumors have it. Omar Wars is going to fight Rancis Bartholomew next. Um, so, you know, th that's a good test for him. You know, not, not anything like Matias, pull opposite of Matias, but it's a good test for him. Warriors should win that. And, and that, you know, they're on the PBC side. Him, Russell, Brandon Lee, you know, they could be looking at world title shots next. You know, it's going to get political. You know, it's going to get – but all those – you know, there's, there's, there's two guys. There's two belts over there on the PBC side. And Regis Progre, who's kind of unaligned. Now, I, I no one wants to fight Regis. Uh, maybe Matias will fight, but I don't think PBC is going to do it. They got too many guys at 140, you know, like Gary Antoine Russell and Juarez, who are going to want title shots when Puello and Matias unify. Um, and then you're going to have guys coming up, Ron Garcia, Devin Haney, you're going to have that whole thing. I, I don't see it. I mean – Maybe Regis can get one of those guys, but no one wants to fight Regis. But I'll back to Super Martinez. This this was a great fight. It's a really entertaining fight. Jeremiah's punt said, I don't really understand what his game plan was, right? Like, I get what his game plan was. It was just a stupid one, right? He came out, and, and, and his plan was to sprint a marathon, and, and it wasn't going to work. He came out the first. I only gave him the first round. Did you guys give him anything beyond the first? You know, I'm not saying the fight wasn't entertaining. It wasn't competitive, but I didn't give him anything besides the first. He gets knocked down in the fifth. Um, and he, he didn't even look that hurt. It looked like he was off balance. He got hit with a body shot. They were trying to sell it like he was hurt. I was trying to watch like what down because none of the hooks and and the right and and you know the right hands that Matias was throwing on the inside were scoring. And they were all kind of partially blocked and stuff. I'm like, was it just overwhelmed when he went down? Put it back. He was backing up. He got hit the body. He was off balance. He went down. And then they stopped the fight. It was just a weird stoppage to me. Um, I, I didn't really understand Ponce's game plan, right? He was trying to out Matias, Matias, and it worked for the first round. But you can see he was breaking down. He can't hit like Matias can hit, right? So, I mean, did, did you guys have it? I mean, had to, you couldn't have given him more than two rounds, right? So, like, yeah, it was fun to watch, and and he was landing, but he didn't, you know. <laughs> If I hit you with a BB gun and you hit me with a 45, you know, it's not the same. Even if we land the same amount, it's not going to have the same effect as I was seeing. So, you know, I, I thought Ponce would do that in spots, but mostly he would he would box him from the outside because he just destroyed – I mean, it wasn't a couple of years ago now, but he destroyed Lewis Ritson um, to, to get in this position. Um, and, and Ritson can crack. So – he could have, he, you know, I, I, I just thought the game plan to go out there and bang this was just dumb. You know, it, it's not like old. He doesn't have any lateral movement and can't move. He should have used his height and his reach and should have boxed him from the outside a little bit. I'm not saying don't bang with him at all. He's a, he's, he can bang. He, he can do well, you know, on the inside. But that can't be it, right? It's like saying, I'm just going to run. Up and down state warriors team. It's like I'm not, I'm not saying don't get enough fear. Your game plan.
What? Was he success? And he did in the first round. He had success in other rounds. He landed a good shot, and he was landing body shots. But it's like you're not going to win this way, and and ultimately he didn't. So where's go next? I mean, where does Matias go next? Uh, it's good to see him get a world champion. He becomes the eighth Puerto Rican to win a 140-pound world title. The eighth. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube Boxing Scene. It is uh, It's already after midnight, February 26, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.